All right, I had a couple of people ask me to tie this sedge hog uh, that I tied and uh, posted the other day. So that's the hook that I'm using. Uh, the thread is 30 denier GSP. And I'm just gonna start this right behind the eye, work back. Oops to about where the barb would be, or just before the bend. First we need a little bit of a tail. And so I'm using just some deer hair. Don't need much for this fly. It's I know some people fish these wet and some people fish them dry. So the more hair you add, the more it's going to want to float. So you got to clean it. Clean and stack your hair real well. Okay. It's just too much. I'm gonna use that next. I'm gonna use half that for the next wing. Okay. So I want the tail about the length of the hook shank. Do an elevated pin trap. Pull up. Wrap through. Let me come in and trim this stuff out. That's good. Then to help keep the tail down, I had a drop of glue to this part. And I can kind of pinch it down. That hair in the back really likes to flare. It's okay if it flares a little bit, but you don't want too much. Next, I need some dubbing. And uh, the dubbing I have here is basically, um, well, it's like three parts muskrat, one part uh, squirrel. And then about a half a part uh, gray ice dub. And the ice dub doesn't always show up, but every once in a while you'll catch a little glimmer of it, and it looks pretty cool when it happens. There we go. So I'm going to start up front and actually wrap back. Did not catch for me. This hair is just so fine, it sometimes doesn't grab the way you'd like it to, but it's a nice dubbing blend. It's just not some of the friendliest to work with. And then we'll double it again coming forward. Pull that off. Okay, that's good. Now for the first wing. And I want that to sit about halfway into the tail. So again, I'm going to do an elevated pin trap. Gently pull up. Work my thread through. 
and again come in and trim all this stuff out. You want to try to get the cuts, your leftovers from the wing, you want to try to get those fairly close to the shank. <clears throat> Excuse me, to the shank. Got a bubble in my throat there. Now, I'll wrap back gently. Now I can grab my dubbing. You can actually use your dubbing coming back into this like we did the tail too. Okay. That's pretty good. And we can groom all that down in a minute. Okay, back to the deer. Put in our second wing. You want it to be about about the same as you did your first wing. Just clean it out good and stack it. Too much here. Okay. And each time we're just going to go halfway into the previous wing, kind of like so. And the process starts over. Elevated pin trap. Oh, I sliced right through that wing. Well, you gotta be careful working with a GSP. It'll cut right through your, right through your stuff. It's not the first time that's happened. I'm sure it won't be the last. But it happens. And on something like this, it's not a big deal. Take half of this. Okay. Okay, try that again. Elevated pin trap, let it pull down, seat it. bring it right through, pull everything to the back, get my thread up front, and again trim it out. And the process just repeats itself. We're going to put one more wing in and then just finish the head. Very popular pattern. Time in all kinds of different colors too. Okay. Now back to my dubbing. We really just don't need much of this dubbing here on these smaller hooks. I'll dub this thing. These flies have been horrible this year. I love summer. One reason I'm thankful we're getting colder is so these flies are going to die off. <laughs> Uh, they drive me nuts. Oops. Okay. Do the final wing.
Yeah, nothing changes. It's just the same process over and over and over four times for this little simple pattern. That's one of the nice things about some of these little simple ones. Now some people will actually just leave this kind of elk hair caddis look uh, for the head on there. And you can you can absolutely do that if you want. Okay. All right. So I'm going to tie it down a few times back and forth. If you get close enough to the head, uh, you don't even have to dub. You can just finish the head. So I probably could have come a little bit forward and done that. But since I didn't, it's not a big deal because I can just dub right up to it. Gonna build my head real quick. And then to finish it off, I'm just gonna take my black sharpie, color it, grab some super glue for a colored wet whip. I actually love this is probably my favorite way to finish the head of a fly, is doing a colored wet whip. And then, just to kind of fix anything I don't like, I can get my pinch scissors and come in underneath take there we go. that looks better, and then I can trim out any parts of the dubbing that I don't like. Sometimes it gets a little little haywire, but that's it. Very simple pattern, very, very popular for browns and rainbows. And uh, again, you can tie it in a ton of colors. Well, if you liked the video, always appreciate a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, and as always, everybody, happy tying. Take care. We'll see you next time.